Hi everybody. We're gonna have a look at this um, small book. It's not very thick, I mean, like a thin book. Um, this is Living with Dinosaurs, Patria Lambert and Douglas Henderson. And Douglas Henderson is one of my, probably in my top three favorite paleo artists ever. I just really enjoy his artwork, how he has things in the background, his lighting, the lighting effects that he creates. He's an amazing paleo artist. And this was another thrift store find, as you can see, $2.50. And this one's from 1999. And no copyright attended. All that work belonged to the owners. And this this says a note in here to I can't pronounce their name for his third birthday from his auntie or uncle or something like that anyway so a book more catered towards uh, I'd say ch children and young adults, but beautiful artwork in here from Mr. Henderson. And here we've got some pram dons just flying really high, and it's just the vastness there. It's the inland sea. I think the interior inland sea in North, North America. Yeah. So I guess it's, the, the book's talking about all the other critters in that inland sea. And you got some other water birds and fish and turtles and all that stuff. Ammonites. And what's the name of this? Uh, Mosasaurus. But that, that, is, that work is amazing. You know, you can just see that Mosasaurus in the background stalking something. Ammonites are getting out of its way. Got a place you saw with a prehistoric shark. Giant squids. What's this creature? It looks really weird. That's a. Uh, it's brainless. I'm not sure what that. It looks really weird, doesn't it? Can't tell. <laughs> Mosasaurs laying its eggs. So we're not sure if Mosasaurs laid eggs or or live like a live calf or whatever, but yeah, interesting. And now we get to the swamps and lowlands, so we've got to see some dinosaurs and cry 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 uh thesaurus there. I heard of them. It's like, you know, you're, you're hiding in the bushes and you're looking through the bushes and looking at these dinosaurs walk past. So that's what I like about his artwork. Got this Pletosaurus. In this massive forest looking for some prey. And Arachosaurus is there. Uh... 
Chasmosaurus and Preceratops. I have to bring it a bit closer to to really appreciate the artwork and its detail. It's it's quite mesmerizing the artwork. This one's a bit hard to see. There's a little mammal there. Is that the Spletosaurus? Abatosaurus, they're having a feed there. Probably a rotting carcass or something. Masiosaurus. Nothing much here, yeah, but this could be deceiving because I was about to skip it. But if you actually look here, you can actually see a pterosaur, the back of a pterosaur there, just flying through this dusk or dawn kind of landscape. And there's Mosasaurus with its beautiful head crests. Some lizards trying to lay the eggs. Some more landscape there, nesting grounds. This is the only book that I have with um, Douglas Henderson's, like all his artwork only in a book. Really nice to look at for Dune. I'm not sure if he has an actual like art book just on his art, but that would be pretty amazing. And digging up the person is a bear there, it's pretty funny. Uh, so we just get a bit of information. And how, thing, how fossils were formed and volcanoes and things and so it's a pretty bleak scene there and that's just the front cover and that's about it so i've got to peel that sticker off So real nice book in a nutshell, more on obviously North America uh, during the Cretaceous. So great, great book, great find this one was. So I hope you enjoyed um, having a look at, at this one with me and I'll see you all next time.